بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد. So now we're moving on to the next particle of إلى. So we're discussing the حرف the حرف عامل and حرف غير عامل come later on. In the عامل we have those حرف عامل which govern nouns. We had the تجرس من واحد is the حرف نجر. So now we're here in حرف نجر discussion. This will continue for quite a long time. Okay. Then those will come up later on, inshallah. So the last one we have here is إلى. The third, the third, not the last one, but the third one, the one we're discussing right now, is the harfun jar of ila. Now, ila, the root meaning of ila is intihaul ghaya. So, intihaul ghaya means the intiha of the mughayya. Okay? Yes? Have we explained the intihaul ghaya in the previous one? In min? Has min come before this one? The particle min has it come before in the last lesson? G. So, min's already been. So, intihaul ghaya, intihaul ghaya has already been explained. So, what we're seeing here now, when the jar and the majroor, what do they become? One is Maf'ul bihi ghayr sari slot Yes, a jar majur have the Maf'ul bihi slot So for example Habbaba ilaykum al-eeman Allah made Iman beloved to you Habbaba ilaykum al-eeman Allah made Iman beloved to you So this is like Maf'ul bihi And this is the hukam of Maf'ul bihi thani Then Maf'ul fi Maf'ul fi for makan or zaman For example Ilal mash laqasa In other words That means here now Makan or maful fi fa zaman thumma timu siyama ila al-layl so now that's maful fi of zaman asha okay so now here when it's maful fi then in the books they would say lintiha il ghaya for the maful bihi meaning there's no one particular wording or phrasing that they use they just say it's intiha il ghaya sorry they just they don't have maful bihi like particular wording but for the maful fi meaning they say intiha il ghaya okay مفعول معه يا فين ولا تأكلوا أموالهم إلى أموالكم. so مفعول معه. so this إلى is in the meaning of like معه. so do not eat the wealth of the orphans along with your wealth. and it's also a bit more tough. see we do this in the end. we do تضمين. so we sing here. don't consume the wealth of the orphans along with your wealth. إلى أموالكم. so one according to one تفسير. this إلى أموالكم has got a معه meaning. so because has a معه meaning. Then it's like a maful ma'ahu. Do not eat their wealth along with your wealth. So it has a maful ma'ahu kind of meaning in Thailand. This. And this, that's quite simple. Ilah, nothing too complicated in here. Subhanallah wa bihamdi. 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 Subhanallah wa bihamdi.